let's just start. The reason we're here is um, the Beljansky Foundation. Um, but um, how has that helped with your endeavors? The trial was um, for patients with advanced disease. All of these patients have been treated so often that their bone marrow has been damaged. And part of the damage was that they were not producing enough of the blood cells that control internal bleeding in the body. And when that happens, the, uh, the oncologist usually has to minimize the dose of the drug or even stop the drug. Um, the agent that developed these RNA primary primers um, prevent this uh, event from happening in your patients. So you're allowed to actually complete the therapy at the optimal dose, at the optimal time. And this uh, allows the doctor to give you the best chance of having a longer life. It was, Beljansky was um, a first-rate molecular biologist. He was the, one of the first generations of molecular biologists. And as part of his research, he discovered how DNA replicated in uh, bacteria. And he discovered that you need um, certain types of RNA little short molecules, which were key to have your duplicated DNA work, in the sense that the DNA, um, uh, the copying of the DNA was done correctly. And he also noticed that if you didn't have these primers, the DNA just didn't replicate. It was kind of like a rate-limiting step in, 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 um, in the proliferation of cells. So he also knew that in chemotherapy, that the first thing that these drugs do is actually kill cells. So it inhibits DNA replication. And he got the idea clearly that this, these RNA primers might enable exposed cells um, from dying. And he did some animal experiments and discovered that was true. And then he tried it in human beings who are undergoing aggressive cancer chemotherapy and again discovered that was true. My work was actually to uh, confirm that this, this that these RNA primers work in cancer patients. My work identified the optimal doses and when to give the doses to the patients. Uh, there's still a lot of work to be done to actually make the drug more effective, but even now the drug can be given in any oncology clinic and it would actually help the oncologist treat the patients at an optimal dose of chemotherapy to enhance the patient's chances of uh, long-term survival. This drug actually is supports the medical oncologists in their treatment planning. It enables them to complete the plan. It helps them avoid cutting the doses down. It helps them avoid having patients taking uh, chemo holidays in which the patient misses a couple months to recover. So from one point of view, this drug is, this, these RNA primers are, should be a powerful tool to be used by any oncologist, whatever his feelings about alternative medicine or not because this is really, uh, this discovery is based on molecular biology research. You, you get a diagnosis of advanced cancer. Uh, you gotta realize that uh, in many cases, physician's toolkit is still quite limited. Um, and you gotta hear very carefully what they're telling you, because sometimes what you interpret is what you want to hear instead of what they're telling you. And then you got to really understand what they're telling you, because that's the only way that you can actually uh, plan the rest of your life. The work of the Beljansky Foundation is made possible by the generous donations of individuals who believe in its mission and share our commitment to making the discoveries of Mirko Beljansky available to as many people as possible. To show your support, please visit www.beljansky.org.